going over the basic functionality of AirMars Weathercaster software. Top left of the screen you have your logo, you have your Weathercaster software version, you have the model of the sensor that's connected to Weathercaster, here it's a PB100, um, the serial number of that PB100. Here you have the sensor firmware. Next box over you have your position and you have your pitch and your roll information. Next box along the top you have your course over ground and speed over ground. Um, there's depth information and temp information if you had a Airmar smart sensor connected. Um, the next box over you have your wind sock information which will change as wind speed increases or decreases. Next box over here is your GPS information. And then all the way in the top right, you have your previous page and next page, your minimize and your exit, and also the advanced setup. I'll go into the advanced setup in the next video. Down the left-hand side, you can change your wind speed readings from miles per hour to knots to kilometers per hour to meters per second. Next one down, you can change your background color from steel to blue to night. Next option down, you can change your temperature readings from Fahrenheit to Celsius. The next option, you can change your compass orientation from north up to course up to bow up. Next option down, you can change your heading information from true to magnetic. Next option, you can change your barometric pressure readings from insurance and mercury to millibars to hectopascals. The next option, you can change your wind chill based on either apparent wind or true wind. The next option is the uh, time offset that you can adjust your time of day based on GMT. And the next option down is your log time. You can adjust that from either 6 hours all the way up to 72 hours. Gauges, we have the air temperature gauge, the apparent wind gauge, which is always referenced to the front or the bow of the boat. True wind gauge, which is always referenced to north. We have analog information and then digital info information along the bottom. Time of day, heat index, this will only uh, report when the uh, heat index value is applicable right now. There's not enough humidity and air temp to get heat index. Compass information. Um, the apparent wind information you can see is coming in on the white arrow. The true wind information is coming in on the green arrow. This is the uh, indicator and then this is the actual compass heading 303. Here's your barometric pressure gauge, your GPS satellites gauge, how many satellites you're tracking, dew point gauge, and relative humidity gauge. Please note that the PB150 and the PB200 models do not have dew point or relative humidity, and these gauges would not be there. I'll go on to the next button in the top right corner to go on to the next page. This is a little larger gauge screen with your heat index, air temperature, apparent wind, true wind, pitch and roll information. Um, this will give accurate pitch and roll um, based on what the vessel may be doing or what the vehicle may be doing. Right now we're almost level, but if I move this, you can see that this will change slightly as the weather station moves. Barometric pressure, compass information, GPS satellites, dew point, humidity, and time. I'll go to the next page. This is the digital screen with a large compass readout. Again here, your apparent wind information is coming in 30 degrees on the port side in the white arrow. The true wind information is basically coming from the same side, um, jumping around a little bit, right around 4 degrees starboard right now, and here's your compass heading. If I spin the weather station, the compass heading will move, as you can see that moving right here. Here's your apparent wind information, 24, 23 degrees port in the speed, true wind information south-southwest at about one mile an hour, air temperature, heat index, barometric pressure, time of day, relative humidity, and dew point. There are three weather caster screens. You can scroll through.